Oh hi everyone! So I recently got the Lionheart Helm. I must have spent around about a thousand gold to create this item. But don't worry guys, I'm going to show you how you can actually create this item with or without any gold. Anyhow, in order to make your own Lionheart Helm, it's not as difficult as you might think. Vorian bars can either be mined or you can just buy them. The Wicked Claws can be farmed from all over the world, though personally I found a lot of Wicked Claws in Winter Spring, killing a lot of things like Moonkins. Blue Sapphires and Azerathian Diamonds really aren't too hard to come by on the auction house and they really don't cost much more than their base cost. But the Arcanite Bar does take a lot of money to actually produce, or a lot of time. So in order to create an Arcanite Bar, you require one Thorium Bar and one Arcane Crystal. You also need an Alchemist with at least 275 skill in Alchemy. There is a cooldown for this recipe, which I believe is 48 hours. You also need Arcanite Bars for stuff like Elementium, which can help you create Thunder Fury, Blessed Blade of a Windseeker, Soul Furious, Hand of Ragnaros, and many other high-end items. You're going to need a lot of Arcane Crystals to create the Arcanite, guys. And the best source of this is the rich Thorium veins that you can find in specific areas, which tend to be high level 60 areas. So I'm going to go over some of the best places to farm your Arcane Crystals. So guys, I made another video about how you can download Twitch to your computer and that enables you to download mods very easily and keep them up to date. Free mods that I would highly recommend in order to make it much easier to find Arcanite Crystal are Sexy Map, which allows you to customize the map and to also drag it around the screen, Gathermate 2 and Gathermate 2 Data. Now, with Gathermate 2 Data, you can basically see every single Thorium vein as well as every other mining vein in the game. So for example, if I go to the Eastern Plague Lands in my map screen, you can see all of the rich Thorium veins, and as you approach them, you'll see a red circle. If the red circle is filled in with a golden core, you know that you're in luck, and that you've actually got a rich Thorium vein that you can mine. So, a very good place to look for rich Thorium veins is Winter Spring. So as you can see, there's quite a few up the top here. There's a few around the village here, but I would forget about them because this area is really heavily camped. There's usually one around this center area here, unless someone's been there recently. There are a few in this cave which are quite inaccessible. You need to destroy quite a few elite dragons in order to get into the cave. And then again, you'll probably only find one. There's again, a few more down the north here. Again, these ones near the bottom here are quite inaccessible. However, there's a lot of rich Thorium veins down in the south of the map, but you are going to have to be very, very good at avoiding enemies and running away from enemies. So I think only certain classes can do this. In the south of Winter Spring, there's an area with a lot of level 58 elite demons. So these can be avoided. If you pick up aggro, you basically need to run against the walls as much as possible to try to run away from the demons. Now, people can successfully mine here for Arcanite Crystals, and it's a great place to mine. It generally worked quite well. I actually got about four Arcanite bars in total from down here. A really good time to farm is during the day when a lot of people are actually at work. Now, Eastern Plague Lands, as you can see, is another fantastic place where you can farm rich Thorium veins. You can almost see on the map that there's a sort of natural path which you can follow up here. So you can run to this area here. 
then run back, run round the village, being careful to avoid as many creeps as possible, all with your find minerals activated. Again, there's quite a few round here too. I would avoid this area in, in the corner here. I try to farm here. Um, these are generally not farmed and I actually found it incredibly difficult to get anything from down here. But nevertheless, the rest of the map is really quite accessible. Ashara. I haven't tried farming in Ashara, but I should imagine it's not too heavily farmed. At least on my server, it's not one of the most popular areas. So you could have a go here. I also think that if you're a druid and you have mining, then you might actually be able to make a lot of money farming in the water down here. Although there are still creeps in the water, so you better watch out. Now, the Burning Steps is, again, a fantastic area to farm. The nodes are quite dispersed across the map, but I was very successful around here in the Burning Steps. Not too many people actually farm this area, I found, so I was pretty successful with the old rich Thorian Banes. Now, Armgoro Crater, again, there are quite a few regular Thorium veins around the edge of the map here. But if we only really want the rich Thorium veins, because these are the only ones which drop the arcane crystals. So again, there's some good crystals in the center here. You can also kill a lot of the fire elementals and they drop good things. And the Dinosaurs, I really wouldn't bother killing them at all because they usually drop rubbish. But nevertheless, if you don't mind dodging these big old dinosaurs, then again, this is a pretty good... I'd say this is a fairly mediocre sort of place to farm. You've got to run an awful long way in order to, to get anywhere. Again, there's a few in Western Plague Lands, but I don't think this is particularly viable. Guys, it's also worth noting that there's quite a lot of ore in Zulgarub. This ore actually has a higher probability of dropping an Arcanite Crystal. A normal rich Thorium vein has a 3% chance of dropping an Arcanite Crystal, but the ones in Zulgarub have a 4% chance of dropping an Arcanite Crystal. So it's really worth running here, as you're more likely to get the Crystals anyway, and you can also get Reputation, which is incredibly useful for everyone. So now guys, once you've got your brand new shiny helmet, you probably want to buff it out with a Librum of Ferocity. Now the quests are quite involved and I won't go over it here too much. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your thoughts are. What's your favourite farming spot? So that's everything for now guys. I really hope that you've enjoyed the video and good luck mining and enjoy playing the game.